Happy October! So today's tutorial is obviously a Halloween look on a beautiful lioness kind of tutorial. So I'm first priming my skin using the Ben, not the Benefit, the Ben Minerals Primetime in the neutralizing shade. And then I'm just applying a layer of my L'Oreal True Match foundation. I'm in the shade W3 I believe, but I'll have it listed down below. So I'm just applying a nice base because I want my skin to look nice and perfected with this look. For the eyes, I'm priming using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and just using my finger to apply that all over my mobile lid. And then for eyeshadows, I'm going to first apply some tape on the corners of my eyes just so that we can create a nice sharp cat eye effect because obviously we are a big cat in this video. <laughs> so I'm taking Mirage and just setting the eye base down so that my shadows blend nicely over the top. And then I'm taking Peach Smoothie which is also by Makeup Geek and just using a really fluffy brush just to buff this into the crease as a transition shade. Then I'm taking the shade Desert Sands which is like a sort of pooey brown colour but it is absolutely beautiful on the eyes and I'm just using a Sigma E40 to blend this into the crease and bring it right into the inner corners. Then I'm taking a darker shade called Americano and just repeating the same step but keeping this one a little bit more precise rather than so blown out. Going in with a matte black shade which is called Corrupt, I'm taking my MAC 217 brush and I'm just starting to buff this in circular motions in the outer V and then slowly bring it into the crease once I've deposited most of the shadow on the outer corner. So this is to help make sure we don't have a really messy crease and lots of colour in the crease. We want most of that colour to be in the outer corner and then afterwards bring it in through the crease. Then I'm just taking the same blending brush I used before just to blend the shades together. For the lid shade, I'm taking the shade Kathleen Lights from Colourpop um, and I'm just using my finger to apply this all over the lid. I felt like this eyeshadow went so well with this goldeny bronzed kind of lioness look. And then once again using the MAC 217 just to make sure my shadows are blended nice and seamlessly. And of course we have to have a cat eye so I'm taking my Maybelline Master Precise liquid liner in black and I'm just creating a nice thick wing on the outer corner. Super easy when you have the tape down because you pretty much just follow along that line. Then for the brow bone I'm just taking the shade Shimmer Shimmer and using a brush to apply that underneath my eyebrow just to give it a little bit of a highlight. And then I'm going in with a Rimmel cold pencil and just tight lining to make sure there's no lines where you can see my skin or my eyes. Then just curling my lashes and applying some Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara to prep them for some false lashes. And the falsies I'm using today are the Exo Beauty The Rebel eyelashes so I'm just using some dark glue to adhere those to my eyes. Back onto the skin, I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 and I'm using this underneath my eyes in sort of a triangular shape to highlight and conceal. And then I'm going to take some down the, down the middle of my nose, so, sorry, and then around my nose and just on my chin and in any areas where I just want to highlight and sort of conceal. So I'm using a Real Techniques sculpting brush to push this all into the skin. And then to set those areas in place, I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Plus, just on a Real Techniques setting brush, so just applying a really light layer of this. Then to make sure my cheekbones are nice and defined, I'm using the Makeup Geek Contour Pan in the shade Bad Habit, and I'm using this on a Sigma Contour Brush. I'll have the number of it listed down below. So I'm just contouring underneath my cheekbones and around my hairline, and then I go back in with my foundation brush in a minute just to make sure that it's blended out because, as you can see, it's a little patchy on my forehead. Then for blush, I'm just using Milani Luminoso, just a light layer of this onto the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm just going to highlight the high points of my cheekbones with the Mary Luminizer highlighter.
To start making the eyes more liony, I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. I first started applying it with a brush just underneath the eye and this was sort of to help create a bigger, sort of more cat eye looking eye, if that makes any sense at all. So I did apply that underneath my lower lash line and then set it with Makeup Geek Vanilla Eyeshadow, but it just wasn't bright enough so I did just go straight in with the NYX Pencil and that just made it look so much better so I would recommend just going straight in with the pencil it saves you a lot of time and I just used a brush to blend out the very edges of that um, jumbo eye pencil then I'm taking the black eyeshadow corrupt again on a super tiny little winged liner brush from Sigma and I'm just lining right underneath where I've put that white and this is going to create sort of a false lower lash line so that my eyes look much bigger and much more cat like so as you can see I'm bringing it in towards the nose and then pointing it downwards as I get to the inner corner because that's how cat's eyes go and then I just added a little bit on my actual eyes to make them look super cat eye like then I just added some fur slash eyelashes whatever you want to call it I just used a little bit of the black shadow and just started making little strokes um, connecting from that bottom lower lash line that we've made. And then to add some bronze I used the Makeup Geek shadow in Sin City and I'm just pretty much doing the same thing just adding the golden bronzy shade in between all of the black just to make sure everything ties together nicely. Then I took the Jumbo Pencil in Milk once again on the same little angled brush after I cleaned it off obviously and I created more fur like strokes just above the eyebrows. So I love how this looks, I think this makes it look so lion like so I would highly recommend doing this. And then once again I just took the um, gold shade and did the same thing, just put those in between just to make it look like golden kind of fur I guess. Then I'm just coating my lower lashes in some mascara just so I didn't forget to do that but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And then I took the Jumbo Pencil in the shade Black Bean. This is also by NYX and I started to outline my upper lip. Um, so you only want to pretty much do your upper lip because that makes it look more cat like. So I just filled in that entire upper lip and then took a normal eyeliner and drew a little line and then I stuffed up my nose I made it look way too round and way too big so I wiped it off I applied a little bit more foundation and then went ahead and fixed it and it was fine so don't stress if you make a mistake you can just wipe it off with some makeup remover and then try it again just be patient and don't get stressed out then I'm took I'm tooking. I'm taking this foiled eyeshadow that's a really nice bronzy gold shade and I just applied that to my bottom lip and then going in with some fake diamante kind of things. These are just from Kmart. I got them last Halloween season um, and I'm just applying these in sort of a V motion on my forehead and I just think this looks like a little bit glam and just brings in the whole orangey look together. Then I just added some brow gel just for the sake of adding brow gel. And then you're going to want to take Vaseline or any kind of lip balm or anything. I used pawpaw ointment um, which is really good for your skin actually and I just applied it to my chest and then I took some gold glitter. This is just cheap gold glitter, it's craft glitter so you don't really want to use this on your eyes but you can use it on your skin, it's absolutely fine. So I just took a sponge and just started to apply that to my neck and then a little bit on my chest and I just feel like this makes it look so cool, so different. Then I finally just roughed up my hair, teased it so it looked like a messy lion's mane kind of thing. And then I decided I wanted to add a little bit more of a bronzy glow so I took the Kathleen Lights highlighter palette and used the darkest shade just over where my bronzer and over my cheeks just to make the whole look look nice and bronzy. And that completes this Lioness tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.